It's Salvaje, and here's my Fortnite Save the World in Death weapon review for the Crescendo Sniper Rifle. It's part of the Boombox weapon set, and it can be obtained from Rad Llamas. My creator code, it's Salvaje, and if you want to use my creator code to buy Borderlands 3, feel free to do so, that would help me out big time. As you guys know, I am going to be covering Borderlands 3 on the channel. So, there isn't a lot that I can say about this sniper rifle, because what this sniper rifle does, other sniper, other sniper rifles have uh, done it in the past as well. And I know that every time a brand new weapon in Save the World comes out that has sort of like a unique mechanic, people kind of freak out and they kind of overhype it. But as you guys know, in this channel, it's all about objectivity. So I'm going to focus on giving you guys the most rational perspective on this sniper rifle so that you guys can make a, uh, an educated decision to level this thing up or not. So this thing has five bullets in the magazine. And if you hold down your trigger button, you can charge up the weapon and shoot a bullet that is going to be doing some uh, extra damage. Sometimes I charged up uh, the bullet and I think one time I got 1 million damage, but I wasn't super sure. I have gotten like 500k, 400k damage bullets from this uh, thing though. You would think that that is a great thing about the sniper rifle and you would think that that's something that that sniper rifle uniquely does, but the Sapatron, which is part of the base game, also does the exact same thing. You can also hold down the trigger and sort of, you know, charge up your bullet. Here's the thing, though. When you charge up the bullet, you're basically letting a lot of husk sort of walk towards your base. When you charge up your bullet, you're trying to pretty much focus on one target and one target only. That target is probably going to be a high priority target, right? And uh, the thing is, the charge up time do, does take like a little bit of time. It takes forever. And long story short, what I'm just trying to say here, it's just not worth it. Like you can run a sniper rifle like the Bon Voyage, for example, and you're going to be able to do more concentrated damage with the Bon Voyage than the Crescendo. Also, there's the possibility that you might miss your charge the bullet completely. It's something that has happened to me multiple times and my aim's actually not that bad in Save the World. So the point is, the charge up time that the sniper rifle has kind of gives it a huge, huge weakness because it basically enables Hus to be more aggressive and get closer and closer to your base. That leads me forward to the next points. This weapon has a really, really, really low fire rate to the point that it's just crippling and it makes the weapon completely terrible. The gameplay that I'm going to be playing in the background is gameplay with... Um, the Ramirez that has the helmet that focuses on increasing sniper rifle damage. And the reason for that is because when you have her in the commander slot, like I did, she's going to be increasing fire rate. But even with the 46% fire, uh, fire rate increase, I mean, this weapon was still shooting very, very slowly. This basically led to me not destroying a lot of husk and not sort of getting a lot of value out of my crescendo sniper rifle. I did have reload speed on this sniper rifle because I wanted to get sort of uh, more use out of the bullets very quickly. And I think uh, that was a mistake. I think I should have gone with magazine size. But even if I would have gone with magazine size, that basically meant that, you know, I was going to be useless for a longer amount of time. That leads me forward to my third point. This weapon does pretty decent damage, like all of the other sniper rifles in this weapons category. The Von Voyage is a really good choice. The Wasp, the Scope Dragonfly. Uh, there's other sniper rifles out there also that are 10 times better than this thing because of the utility and the efficiency that they have on the battlefield. Like for example, the Neon Sniper Rifle, or the Obliterator, or the Boombo. Keep in mind the Boombo is considered a sniper rifle in Fortnite Save the World. By using the Crescendo Sniper Rifle, you don't really have anything to gain at all whatsoever. Sure, you have a weapon that is pretty unique and uh, it has like a pretty unique mechanic and it has a really really cool sort of you know identity but you're not really going to be accomplishing much with it the critical damage is also pretty good but again there's just better choices out there and uh, the question you know the question that i ask myself is well i could give this to a defender but i could just give a defender an, an obliterator or a neon sniper the, uh, the obliterator and the neon sniper are part of the base game weapon set right so why would you not give your defender that weapon on top of all that, why would you also use this weapon when you can use a weapon like the Obliterator, which is now part of the base game, like I previously said, and the Obliterator just has so many more uses and is able to dish out more damage than this thing and is able to eliminate multiple husks due to its piercing bullet, which of course this sniper also has. But that leads me to my last points. This thing has piercing bullets, 
but the bullets do some pretty mediocre damage, right? And when you get a critical rating bullet, sure, it is going to help you out a lot, but again, the obliterator can do that job 10 times better. Also, this weapon has piercing bullets, but it doesn't pierce refrigerator husk and it doesn't pierce shielder husk, something that the obliterator is able to do. And when I review weapons, I definitely want to find out what are the strengths that that weapon has as, as, as an individual, right? Because I don't want to be comparing weapons all, weapons all the time when I'm making reviews. And as I was using this weapon, I just didn't really find any reason to actually run this weapon. I don't just rate weapons and review weapons on their individual performance, as you guys know. I rate them on a team-based environment, how much value the weapon can bring into the field. And as I was using this weapon, I realized that I wasn't doing anything at all. My teammates were basically carrying me. Sure, I was killing a couple of basic hubs from time to time, but the weapon was just not really being as effective as other sniper rifles could be. I think this is due to the weapon just being pretty basic, but also I think this is also due to the fact that sniper rifles in Fortnite Save the World are very, very weak and they don't really have like an actual reason to be run in the first place. I think if we can get a sniper rifle that specializes at long ranges, it's able to do a lot of damage at medium range, but the secondary fire is sort of able to release kind of like a shockwave type attack that is going to send us flying really far away to set them up for like a medium range attack, I think that would be so cool. So if an Epic employee is listening to this, please make that come true. I think that would be amazing. Anyways, when it comes down to recommended perks, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Crit rating, crit damage, damage, and magazine size. I think that's gonna be uh, what's best going to benefit the sniper rifle. And I reviewed this sniper rifle, by the way, guys, with full legendary perks. And even with full legendary perks, this sniper rifle was still not optimal. When it comes down to the star rating, it's going to be a 1 out of 5 stars. It's complete garbage. This weapon is not even a meme. It should never be leveled up. It should never be perked up. I'm not insulting your intelligence if you have leveled up this weapon or if you have perked it up, but I think that there are better choices out there and for the multiple reasons that I have given in this video, that's why this weapon is a complete garbage weapon. If you guys enjoyed the review, feel free to drop a like and if you want more quality Save the World content, feel free to subscribe to the Sabah Cartel.